Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Hello and welcome. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today for this new tutorial. There's a couple of things I want to chat with you um, before we get into the card and I want to show you. Let me show you a couple of things that I think they're super cool. Um, let, <clears throat> I am trying to get this going and of course it's not working with me. Why would it work with me, huh? Let's see. Well. Oh, there it is. Sometimes, I swear to God. Um, okay. Sorry about this. Let me show you what um what I want to show you. Hey Judy, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing really well. Um technology is not being my friend today. So I am going to show you finally, I hope, a couple of things. So stamping up, you know how it has like pre-orders and uh, when you're a demonstrator, you get to see the new product ahead of time. So it, they have been promoting a very beautiful new set. That is what I want to show you. Let me see if we can do this correctly. Maybe. Okay. So this is the new exclusive online um set that we are getting it is going to be called irresistible blooms and it will be available for you on march 1st if you are not a demonstrator which is one of the reasons why being a demonstrator is so cool right because you get access to these way before time um but let me show you i absolutely love i don't know if you can see this but i absolutely love that you can make this kind of wreathy thingy <laughs> um and the papers they seem really gorgeous let's see if i can make this a little bigger look at those can you see them oh my god i'm in love with them anyways this is coming to you march 1st if you are not a demonstrator how are you doing judy i hope you're doing well the second thing i want to chat with you guys about is our clearance so it has been updated and we have other um new old <laughs> new retired products in it and i absolutely think you guys need to go and check it out the prices are amazing and so i think i'm going to get i'm sorry i'm moving this fast i'm really sorry about that but i want to show you what i'm going to get because i'm super excited about that um last year for our mini catalog in um the spring or at the beginning of the year they did this they have this um hybrid embossing folders with some uh what's the name of this thing with some dies and i don't have any hearts i was thinking about that the other day i was wanting to do something with hearts and i just don't have any and i really want that so i think i'm going to get that and look at that is seventeen dollars seventeen forty so i think it is a wonderful wonderful option let's go to the crafting table real quick seems like there's some issues with my focus is it everybody or is it just me mm -hmm. not sure what's going on it was working about a minute ago how weird is that let me move here while I try to fix this it was working really well about a minute ago so that is not cool okay Woohoo! There we go. There we are. I'm not sure what was going on in there. As you can tell, my camera is a little bit off today. <laughs> Let me move that a little bit. There we go. So it's straight. And you're not trying to move your head. Uh, the other thing I want to say is I've been having some issues with my stamping um, markers. and Well, my stamping blends. And so I'm going to reach out to Stamping Up kind of oh that's so cool oh that's so beautiful judy so judy's making cards for i don't know what age oh 
SH, there's a lot of SHOC means, but it's like kiddos that have cancer. And oh my God, that sounds so beautiful, Judy. God bless you. Uh, actually, um, now that you're here, I still have your packets. Um, we had that storm last week and I ended up not going to pick anything to, to the, um, to the mail. So your stuff and Donna's and Susie's are going to be going hopefully tomorrow. So just, it'll get to you eventually. I should hope so. Um, let me move this a little bit there. Okay. So what are we going to be doing today? Oh, before I forget guys, we have Oh, that's, so S-H-O-C means Survivors Helping Others Cope. That is wonderful, Judy. Um, well, like I said, God bless you. That's gorgeous. Super good idea. Um, we are going today to work with, um, it's called an explosion card. Guys, I have to be fully honest with you. I am not even really sure what it is, uh, of what the name is. I saw very different names um, for it. I think it's really simple and you guys are going to like them. So, oh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, I said it was going to be leaving by the first of the month and oh my goodness in heavens, it's just, it gets busy. And I have realized that it takes me a minute to take the energy to go out of the house, right? I always have so many things to do in that I completely forget to do. Oh my God, I forgot to take it. So anyways, and before I forget, celebration period is coming to an end. Um, it's till February 28th. So guys, if you have not um, gotten any of your free products, don't, don't hesitate. Go ahead and get some of that. Okay, so we are going to be working with Happiness Abounds. Hey, Susie, how are you? I was just telling you and Judy that um, we were, that I will send your packages hopefully tomorrow. So don't think I've forgotten. <laughs> um, and so going back to the card, we're going to be using Happiness Abounds that is in the annual catalog. Um, and I know that everybody's using stuff from the new, from the mini catalog, but I feel that, you know, I got all this paper and all this beautiful stuff. Uh, uh oh. Oh. Let me know if it's working now, please. I would appreciate that. I hadn't an issue at the beginning, like it was getting, I was not able to, for it to, like, I wasn't able to, this, to um, focus. So it seems like it's really sensitive, my out of focus now. So let me know if it's still frozen. I would appreciate that. Um, so we're going to be working with uh, Happiness Bounce because I absolutely love it. So, um, it was one of my favorite suites when we received the annual catalog and I figured that it's really worth it. So this explosion fun fold is how I am going to call it. You can call it whatever you want, right? It's, it's kind of a fun fold. It opens up. Um, I don't know if it has another name. I saw a few. I can't see your messages. Um, let me text you because of the delay. Okay, I texted you. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. Yes, I can see your messages. Um, of course, there's there's a, a few seconds delay. Um, it seems to be a lot longer though. So, see, there's a moment when I had, like it's really, really behind, I can tell. That's really weird. It's never this behind, so something must have happened. Please let me know if it gets frozen. Um, and I'm gonna text that just in place. Okay, let's get going. What are we going to need for these? I have all my little pieces in here, same as always, and we're gonna go slowly. I have decided though, that from now on, I am going to include the measurements down below. And once I have the post 
updated, I will link the post. But I'm not going to delay you. I will have the message. Um, I That could be what it is. The one I saw really, it was called, like, it was in Pinterest. And it was called, like, she named it, like, Origami Explosion something. It was, like, a complicated name. Um, and so I saw another one and it, it was called like explosion fun fold. You guys can tell me what's name. So we'll see how that goes, but it's, it, it may be a diagonal fold. Um, you let me know, Susie. So this is a piece of, um, gorgeous grape and I have my cheat sheet here. So you remember this is four and a quarter. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? Bye. Four and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. But this will end up making a regular A2 card. I'll show you here in a minute. We'll need to um, do a couple of scores. Nope. No, it was not from Jambi, Susie. Um, actually, it, it it was in Pinterest, when the first one I saw. And it was not even connected to anything. It was just an, a photo uploaded. Uh, you know how that happens every so often. In the description below... Um, I saw something in the description, not description, in the suggestions, the ex other, you know, pins they put to kind of inspire you. There was another one and, uh, um, she called that explosion from fold, I think. Um, but the one I saw, maybe I'm able to, let me see, give me two seconds. It, it just, it, it's from, it's from, it's like uploaded from flick, flickr.com. So it's just, just the, um, the picture, but it also includes dimensions. Um, the dimensions it includes is for a, uh, six by six card, which it's very big. I will show you my. I will show you in comparison because I did work on that one, but then um, I figured that it would be much cooler to just make an A2. And then I'll give, I, I will post down below also the measurements for the A, for the six by six. So this is one piece. Then we are going to need, I'm going to bring it here. Guys, don't laugh. A piece and this is fresh freesia you guys know how much i love this color and this is five and a quarter five and a half by five and a half um and then we're going to need all the other two real pieces like the card base pieces i'm going to call them it's we're going to need two in fresh freesia and these are uh two and three quarters by three Okay, so these are the basic pieces to create the card. The rest are just the decoration layers. Okay, so we're going to leave those. I will include those below like I, like I always do. And well, let's get started with these piece. Okay, so we're going to move with our card base. We're going to align the long, uh, the long side against the trimmer. And we're going to score at five and a half. And then all the way to five and three quarters. Okay. And then, yes, we are going to fold this real quick. And we're going to use our bone folder to get these really, really well creased. I was telling you guys, I was very, I was very sad because I've been having issues. I can, you can tell here with my stamping blend. So I'm going to call a stamping up and I'm going to give you guys an update uh, later on. So what we just created is a quarter of an inch little gap that will help us when we create the rest of the card because it gets thick and so it will fit perfectly in here. Okay. Now we're going to score these piece very simple. We're going to score it half and half. So we said this is five and a half. So we're going to score at two and three quarters. And as you can tell, let me move this a little bit here. I have all my, let me move this a little closer. I think that part of the reason is that I just, I changed my 
phone, which is what I use as my camera. And I think that that's what is causing these out of focus to kind of um, be an issue. It's probably more sensitive. So um, as you can tell, I have here, guys, my, my cheat sheet in, in my trimmer. So I have my five and a half, my four and a quarter, my two and three uh, quarters, which is the half of five and a half and two and an eighth which is the half of four and um in a quarter so you, there's nothing out there that says that you cannot help yourself doing these things so going back to our card we're going to go and score in half uh, it's quite similar to what we did last last um not quite but similar in some fashion um last week score again so we're scoring at two and three quarters on both sides and now we're going to score on diagonally it doesn't matter which side you use it, it would not have any effect i am trying to do very um being very careful sorry um, of mm, aligning these and this is why I love this trimmer and I'm a little bit of camera there and let's score this through okay now we're all going to fold these here in a second I am just going to bring our other two little pieces and we are going to align on the three so we're yeah the three inch side we're going to align at two and three quarters and we're going to score and what we're creating is a little flap. Okay. There you go. So I don't think we're going to need this anymore. But every time I end up saying that, we somehow always need it, right? Let me move back out a little bit. I think I need one of those, like, um, how they called? Like a control remote. So I can just move from here instead of having to actually go and touch my iPad. Let's start with this piece, okay? So we are going to fold belly the straight lines, right? And I hope that's... <laughs> and then the other one, and we're using our bone folder to do this. And then, hey, Mary, how are you? Oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. And now, so we just folded belly both the straight a, both straight lines and we are going to fold mountain our diagonal diagonal side okay so this is what we got and this is a very simple mechanism this is how it looks super cute so i found out that of course sometimes it does not like you fold and it's not perfect so i just work with my hands push it well and i make it work does that make sense sometimes like it's happened a couple in one of in the other one of the other cards i made that um it actually did not like it was not aligned perfectly of course it happens so you just fold it together and use your bone folder to help it okay so these are our three basic pieces or four basic pieces now let's start decorating okay i think that it is much better if you decorate these to the front and the back um, before decorating the front, especially just adding the layers, uh, maybe not the whole decoration, but it, it does, um, it is a little harder once you have the whole bulky thing to put it together. That's me, you guys know that I um, sometimes struggle with those things. So let's go ahead and do these two pieces i'm going to move these out of the way we are going to bring the front first and i am just going to add the layers this beautiful beautiful paper again is from <laughs> i agree with you judy that's very good judy says that she calls that co in the paper and that's what it is right you're just convincing it that it needs to go a little bit your way not their way um, so this is from the Happiness Abound um, Suite. Sometimes I 
I completely forget names, guys. Does that happen to you? I feel like, was it that the name? I'm looking it up so you guys can have the actual real name instead of just Hues of Happiness. Hello, Maria. Hues of Happiness is the suite. The paper is called Hues of Happiness. And D, it's Happiness Abounds. It's the stamp set. Sorry about that. But I love, and you guys know that I love these colors. This are definitely down my aisle. Um, this is a quarter smaller. I usually use a um, eighth smaller. I am using a quarter, and you guys are going to laugh, because initially... I wanted to do this this way, okay? And I really like that. But the next step of the decoration, it was too busy to have that in this in the back. So this was already cut. And of course, it's a paper I like very much. So I didn't have any extras. <laughs> so I am using a quarter here and a quarter here, okay? And this is how we're going to include this, uh, glue this together. So let me bring my... Stamping Seal Plus, which by the way, guys, it's really the same as always. I don't know what's really with my Stamping Seal Plus, but the geek, uh oh, it's kind of not working. That is not cool. Uh oh, it seems like we have an issue. Let's see. I'm wondering what's going on. Well, being that the case, I don't know what's going on. I just put this back in. I have another one, and I am going to go ahead and bring that one. I'll try to fix that one later. I always have a couple of these uh, Stampin' Seal Plus handy. I don't like to change them for the live, but there's a lot of gluing in here, and I don't want to use... Um, the tear and tape, even if I love tear and tape so very much, I don't want to use it. So, okay, it's very simple and self explanatory. Big hole, big, I don't know how you call it, and the small hole for the smaller one. And there we go. So, hopefully, this works. Something is happening today. I don't understand. Oh, now it's working. Yay, guys. Okay. So, we're just putting a little bit of it around. You guys know that I always put this um, horizontal. It's just easier for me. I am very used to the eighths, and so it takes me a little bit longer um, to actually place the fourths. And if you hear a noise, it's my dog letting me know that he's very upset because he wants to come inside. Um, but I already closed the door, so he can't come in. And we're going to do this here, same, just center as best as we can, and adhere, right? Oops, there we go. And now the other side, I kept it the other way just because I really, really like this paper, and I think it needs to be... Um, Exposed. I just made a mistake, guys, for being focusing. Thankfully, this is going to be. We're going to have some leeway here. I am going to bring my tear tape real quick, just because we are going to. And this is brand new too, as you can tell. I've been using my stuff very much. We're going to adhere some um, ribbon. I forgot that piece. I love when that happens. And I am just using a green ribbon. I have the feeling that this has been already discontinued. Um, but it was the only other one I have. Uh, I didn't want to put more of the fresh freesia one. Just because we have, I have, you know, it's a lot of fresh freesia. And I just wanted something that would kind of create some contrast. So there it is. Choo -choo. We're really pushing this. And now we're going to do the same here. Thankfully, we were able to see that on time. You guys know I love my tear and tape, but definitely it is, um, it is a slow. So I don't use it often when we are in the 
live unless it's absolutely necessary. Let's go ahead and adhere these layers. Okay, it looks like I forgot how to use the Stamping Seal Plus for some reason. So we are expecting another um, snowstorm tomorrow. Ho hopefully, uh, it's in the afternoon, and I'm I have to drop all that stuff for you guys on in the morning. So it'll be going tomorrow, um, but it's going back to, you know, I think the low is going to be like two or three again um, Fahrenheit, and I think my poor chickens are done with that instability. <laughs> they are like. We don't like this. Okay, again, I put this horizontally. It's much easier for my eyesight to adhere this. I don't know why. Okay, so we have the outside ready. Very important to make sure that you know where your front is because you don't want to mess it up, okay? Now let's go ahead and decorate the inside. For the inside, I'm actually going to go with a very simple white basic white and these are an eighth smaller so again this is five and a half or four and a quarter so these are um four and an eighth by five and three eighths and we may do some something to decorate these but we'll decorate them after we are done with the other piece because the other piece kind of has a lot to it and i just don't want um to make it too, what's the right word? Too crazy, right? Too busy is the right word. Same as always, you know, just centering and gluing these. Um, if you have a pattern paper, remember that it is important to have the direction. The direction for this is going to be, it's going to open the long way. So do keep in mind if you're going to be using a paper that has a pattern and it has a direction. This of course makes it very simple because there's not, not a whole lot to it. And if you hear my dogs, yes, they are all barking. I don't know who came. Okay, so this is our basic piece. We're going to put these aside for a minute and we're going to start decorating this one. Guys, I, I really need to um, work on my, I actually changed it. Judy, I gave in and changed it. I got a few extras um, of the of the um, trimmers. Oops. Oh my God, I forgot the name of it. My little, my trimmer little cutting device. And um, I got a new one because it was getting really, how would you call it? Really hairy <laughs> on the sides where I cut. So this is just, Five and a half by five and a half. So each block, each square is th two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay. And let me bring this back here for a moment. These will go in here, right? So we need to be mindful, and you'll see why um, I'm saying this is because I got confused a couple of times. Um, you will see why this is important to keep it always that way. Otherwise, I made mistakes. So just putting it out there for you guys. <laughs> and these are the pieces that we are going to be using to decorate these and to decorate, the, I'm bringing them, and to decorate these two pieces. We are gonna work with these two pieces last, um, but they'll be fine. Okay, so this is all from the same beautiful paper. I love the co the color combination of these, um, the gorgeous grape and the uh, fresh freesia. Thankfully, this pattern does not have a, how would you call it, a, a specific direction, right? So that's important. I am going to adhere these, um, Put them together because I want to make sure that I don't mess up my colors. These two are going to go here. Let me see. Yeah, so these pieces 
are 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths, and this is 2 and a half by 2 and a half. Okay, now the pieces that are going in the part that actually folds are two and a half by two and a half. And I made them a little smaller because when you cut it in half, and we experienced that last time, um, it kind of like moves backward a little bit. And so you will have, I mean, if you cut just an eighth smaller, it's very tight and I don't like that. So I'm just making sure which one are the pieces. These are the smaller pieces. And these are, okay, the other pieces. So these two pieces are going together as so. Okay, and these pieces will go back in here. So it looks really cool when you open it, but I wanna put it like this so I can play with the designs first before we adhere anything. Because my thought is this one, I'm going to, I want to put, let's say, one here. And I'm going to move this one so we can see a little bit more of that purple in there. And then one in here. And then same around here, one there and one, one here. So I just want to be mindful of which one's going where because I want it designed that way. So I'm going to put those together back out there. And we are going to glue this, or I hear this. I am using these very mindfully. So I'm putting the purple side, the purple flowers on the fresh freesia side and the fresh freesia purpose, fresh freesia flowers in the purple side. Um, so there's a little bit more of a contrast. And I have to say, guys, I it's so funny. I don't know why I have not really used these more. I'm surprised. Like, I love this. I really, really do. The other thing is that it's interesting. This has the Mellow Mambo. And I love this combination, but I have not really made any in this color. So I am definitely a picky person when it comes to <laughs> colors and combinations. I don't know. I, I think that the Mellow Mambo is just like a strong color and it's way too strong for me. I like to use the actual, not the combo like in here, but to use the actual card base. It's super funny how picky one can be when it comes to certain colors. What's your favorite color from Stamping Up? Let's let me know there in the chat. I I have decided that Fresh Freesia is one of my faves. I'm really sad it's going and I know I've said that quite a bit. Uh, and Blushing Bright and Petal Pink are out there too. Um, Definitely a pinky kind of girl, am I? Okay. And now we're going to make sure that it all closes. And we are going to bring these two pieces and we are going to cut them diagonally. So remember, these two pieces are two and a half by two and a half. And I'm going to cut them together now that I have a new blade <laughs> so using that view I am actually going to bring my blade and put it in the middle because that way I don't mess the corners and go perfect so now we just did that super quickly with both of them. I'm checking out my time. I've been talking too much, guys. You have to like remind me not to talk too much. So let's see. I think this goes like so. And this one there. And it may be the exact same thing, but for these ones, just because they are actually let me do the stampy seal glass. I'm always a little bit concerned of using um Stamping Seal Plus 
<laughs> Judy, you're so good at it. Now I have my faves. I definitely and, and I can tell whenever I'm making I'm designing a card, what comes to my brain is always more or less the same colors. And I'm like, I have to actually push me a little bit to go outside. Not it's not my comfort zone, but it's just like really, really what I like. And so um I was gonna do that with this one, but I didn't. I went ahead and went with my my faves there. But hey, it's okay. Well, my poor chickens, like I was telling you guys, are very done with winter. And we got some ducks. And I have never had ducks in my life. And I know nothing about ducks. So it's been a lot of learning. How do you take care of ducks? Really? Mango Melody, huh? It's, I don't know. Oh, no. Mango Melody is the, the yellow one. I still sometimes don't remember my name. So, so you like Mellow Mambo. See, I don't know why on its own it's like too strong for me and i really like it oh my god like these paper i love this colors the combo of the yellows and the mellow mambo and the pinks i love them but yep it just does not work okay so we have these two pieces we are going to now work on these sides so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut those corners a little bit um and we're going to fold our little flap. Use our bone folder, of course. And I am thinking that I may want to make some other, um, bring some other colors. Yeah, Judy, you're so funny. The regular kind. <laughs> I don't know. The white ones? <laughs> Oh, see, soft succulent is another color I'm so sad it's leaving. I love that color. It's such a special kind of green. Um, yeah, it's like, what can you do, right? I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and glue our thingies in here. What did here our thingies? Now, it may be that we will need to... Um, cut this a little bit so I'll show you what I mean remember that sometimes when we glue this to here it, it kind of it's too big it has it happened to me in one of them and not in the other one so I am going just in case <laughs> yeah I guess I got the ones that that quack I know they're super cute actually I really like them um, but I know nothing about ducks like at all right like there's no other way to say it um but they're very cute so we're learning in the process it's just kind of funny so i am going to although you know i always say center and line and whatnot i am pushing this a little bit towards the end so towards this court line so if i have to cut a tiny bit it will you know i will have some flexibility there to cut um hopefully it doesn't happen but it may and we're going to do the same thing here. And same as we did before, I am putting, you know, getting the contrast. So purple and fresh freesia together. That way we can see them better. I like contrast. It's like, oh, you know, guys, I don't know what, what you think about this, but I am that person that cannot have like furniture or pictures or hanging all in a straight line it drives me insane it needs to be it needs to be not i'm actually let me see yeah i'm actually going to put the purple on on the towards the edge because that will be more noticeable okay okay so these is our little flaps. Hey Donna, how are you? And we go back to, I'm gonna go back to where this needs to go. So these needs to go here. 
and I'm going to bring my tear and tape. There are areas where there's stuff that I just need definitely to use my tear and tape in spite of that it takes us a little bit longer. And we are going to adhere this. So which are, are the mallard ones, the mallard ducks, the ones that are green niche or have like more green to it. And now we're aligning these as best as we can and fold and fold here. And we're going to be coaxing like Judy said. And now we're going to add these piece. Ah, guys, 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 guys. I hate when I make mistakes. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get this off. Oh, you know what? I was going to do this anyway. So let me bring my silicone craft sheet. Um, and I did that for all the other cards. I'm going to show you. All the other sounds like a lot. The other two cards I made, <laughs> actually. Um, and um, it is decorating that back of that of the um flap in here so we are going to have to decorate this right away so it doesn't get stuck anywhere and i'm doing the right same thing center align and close let me grab as you guys can tell i don't have a whole lot Oh, you were at the food pantry, man. That's awesome. Good for you. Oh, you know what? I just decided what I'm going to do. Aha, uh -huh. inspiration comes. Let me move this back out where it was. Okay, so I am going to cut two pieces of two and actually this way of two and five eighths by two and five eighths right and we're going to add these in there we're, i would have waited but um since i made that tiny mistake we can cover that right now so let's go ahead and attach these friends well, I am glad, Donna, that you are helping others at the pantry, at the food pantry. That is definitely a good, good thing to do. And we're going to go ahead and attach this other one in here. Okay, and so this is how this is going to look. Let's bring our base and let's add it. Okay, so this will fold inside, inside, and like this, okay? So when you open, this will open like this, and then you'll have extra flaps, almost like a mini album. So these needs to go in the middle of the, of this um, area, of this, oh my God, little, flap we made initially. So I am eyeballing, but I am making sure that when I put it, it still close all the way. One of the ones I made kind of, the first one was definitely my tricky one. Um, because I, some of those mistakes that you make just because you're not, is the first one, right? You're making. So that one I put far too high up here. And so it did not close well. So just be mindful of doing it. The other way you can do is actually score here in the middle. So we scored at five and a half and then five and three quarters. So score at five and five eighths. Oh. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Hey, there you go, business. That is good. That is good. Okay, so yes, we need these. We need to really um, 
eyeball here and make sure that this is centered here and not too high up here. And I'm making that short, but you guys can see, I'm, you can't see. Can you see the other side? It's, it's not aligning correctly. So I know it's centered, but I need to move it a tiny bit to, down. So let's see there. Is it correct? Yes. Now both edges are going together or at the same level. And so now we know we can absolutely glue this. Now I'm making sure that this is going the right way because yes, it happened right a couple times that it didn't go very well. So now that I am sure I'm going to, I moved it. It's not centered anymore. So I'm making sure I'm centering and I think we got it. Okay. Yes. And we are going to use glue for this. I love my glue when it comes to these kind of things. And the easiest way to do this, of course, is um, adhering these directly like so. And I move it again. Guys, for real? <laughs> okay. It's centered. And I think that will do. Ah, it looks like it does. Good. So you guys can see that if this is aligned, this is closing perfectly. So we are going to glue this well. Oh, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Is it fine? Yes, it's fine. Do you remember that to get, um, to glue thinking of the direction. Thankfully, because of what is in this place, it's, it's all, doesn't have like a pattern with direction and whatever. It can go anywhere, but yeah, that would have been a mistake. So we are gluing the other one. And go ahead. And we're going to hold this as best as we can. So it was pretty funny because, um, in the others, uh, yeah, you'll see my mistakes here, but I definitely like the idea of being able to have areas to write more stuff or to put extra uh, um, decorations, right? Um, in this case, I use white in here because I could not find, I guess, because the middle area, that explosion part, it's very busy. And I feel that there was no pattern in paper that, you know, was part of the um, hues of happiness that was, um, how do you call it, that was like muted enough or I didn't have part of the paper. Okay, so let's go. So you go here, it opens, and then you'll have to open here and open here. And that's what I was telling you guys, right? If you, I feel like if this had another pattern and another pattern, it would just be too much. I think it would be too much. So now it's time for the fun. Woohoo! Let's decorate. Same as always, I have a bunch of my little cutouts. I love, I said this every, every other day, I think, that, that we are able to use these a lot. Um, the cutting with this. Thank you, Judy and Donna. I'm glad you guys like it. And so we are going to decorate some of this. And you know, I like doing this a lot. You guys know that. I think that before we decorate this, actually, I'm going to put this aside for one minute and let's go ahead and do some stamping. Because of course I decided, oh no, today we are going to do some heat embossing. And here we are. I'm closing this so my they don't get as you can tell I have it all ready and in here I love my stay apparatus it allows me to not put my big head in front of you guys um, but it also helps this stuff be straight right it was Susie who reminded me that the best way to do this is to actually have one of our um, stamp cases here in the back and it just holds it perfectly so thank you Susie again for that we are going to, this is going to go in the middle and this is going to be, I'm going to stamp this in a, in a gorgeous grape, just so there's quite a, 
how you call this, contrast in it. And some of the reasons why I love the Stamparatus is because sometimes I don't stamp well. I mean, this one worked very well, but sometimes it doesn't happen this well. And so um, it is really good when, when you're able to just do this. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to remove this. And we are going to bring now our um, Versamark ink. And we're going to stamp, not stamp, we're going to apply it to our stamp here, which is just happy birthday. Seems like everything worked perfectly there. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this out of the way and we are going to bring some of my white embossing. If I can open it. Well, I mean, it's true that I've not embossed anything lately, but hello, not that bad. Okay, we're going to bring, our, I have these little tiny spoons. I believe I got them from Amazon. And so, um, it's super useful if you have embossing like this. Um, I think that this is the easiest way to have some of that. I did not um, proof these beforehand. A lot of people do that. I, I don't know why I forget. If you're with me, good. I forget very often to use that powder that's to take out the static, but here we are. And this was in our previous catalog. And so we are going to bring our heat embossing tool and I'm going to hit these. You guys know it's noisy. I always start in the back. It's not coming any further for some reason, but can you, can you see? No, you can't see. I always start in the back because the tool itself needs to heat up a little bit or warm up, not heat up. Um, and paper can absolutely burn. So this helps me not burn it. It looks like it's completely warmed up now. And I am just going ahead and making sure it's embossed. Some important tips when you're heat embossing, definitely put your piece against the light and it will show you if it's embossed. It always look like plasticky. That's how I feel about it. It goes from opaque into like shiny plastic. I am going to do this a tiny bit more just because I don't want it to be messed up. Okay, so this is for the front. We're going to remove everything that we don't need right now. And now let's bring these here. So I want this one up here um, because that this one is too busy. Let me see. No, I think I want this one like that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So let's go ahead and, and I, before I, the first one I did, I decorated this without being here, but you'll see my mistakes. And so I definitely recommend that if, if you're forgetful like me to do it once it's, it's already glued. And as you guys can tell, there is a lot going on in this card because there's so many papers. What we're doing is just letting the papers do their job. So we don't really need to do a whole lot of decorating. I have some of these half pieces that belong to the paper. Um, and I am just going to bring some of them up here and play with them around. I'm not going to put them just yet, but I think that I like that one there. Let's see, which one, which others do I have? Again, I always have a ton of them. I'm putting that piece there in my... I have a lot of... <laughs> Let me show you guys. I have a lot... Sorry about the glare, but I have a lot of fresh freesia flowers. So, like, you guys know that I'm not lying when I say that I really like fresh freesia. <laughs> and I, I think I'm going to leave one in here. And it, that is just to make some fun decoration. 
And I am aligning with the paper and not with the corner. Um, actually, I want to bring this one, but it's too... Let me see. I want a purple one, but I have just like one purple one that is too big, of course. Um, oh, well. Let's do the first fresh. It's fine. Okay, in case you guys were wondering which card, which color I like the most. Okay, so I put those two flowers there just to create some fun. I am going to bring one of these, and it's too big. So, since this is white, I was thinking that I can just create some couple of them in here in the corner, and I th I really like that idea. So. We are going to bring this in the corner like so. And I'm going to bring these little leaves. I'm using glue because it's just much easier, of course. And let me bring this one. So I'm going to bring these leaves in here like that and we're going to put some adhesive in our flower i oh yes i think that that is brilliant i absolutely love that they do that like really it's one of my favorite things to do um because you can play with corners and stuff like that um okay so I don't want to do a whole lot more to this card. Let me remove a little bit. Just move a little bit further so you guys can see. Because all in all, all the paper does most of the job, right? Now, this is going to close, whoops, like this and like this. And I am thinking we can put one of these bigger ones in here, maybe in here, if it works, right? And we're going to use... And I think I have another little leaves. Yes, I have some leaves. And these leaves, you, I just fussy cut. It's not very hard. Um, but it does happen with Stamping Up often that the, the they include, oops, let me see. Yeah, that it is included in the, um, the they include, sorry, dies to cut the paper. And I know I say this like very often, but I absolutely love that. <laughs> And I have this piece here for whatever reason, and I think I'm going to create a little decoration here. Maybe just like that, just to create again some interest in there. So this should be two and five eighths. And I'm actually going to cut these. Okay, what do you guys think? You want cut in half or just a brick of a piece like that? I think I like it like that. Okay, let's put this. You can put, actually you can leave it as is and write the stuff here. I didn't think of that. Or add another piece in here or in here and right there. I think that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Center this as best as I can. There we go. And then I'll create another piece here to be able to write um, some on it. And let's bring this here real quick. That's going to be two and a half. I'm going to make it two and a quarter by two and a quarter because those are double matte, right? So I think two and a quarter is small enough. And I, you could use just some of those tailor-made, the stylish um, stylish shapes, which are the ones I'm using. Um, but it's important. I don't, I just don't want to cut anything because it's getting into the longer side of the video and we still have a couple of things to do. Okay, so this is the inside of the card. You kind of close. It folds inside. And that's the card. You tied it up. 
I'm just going to leave that there. So I am using one of the pieces I love the most from from the the dies from the Happiness Abounds. Um, who the um, oh my goodness, Hues of Happiness Suite. Um, and it's this piece. And I am using the Deco Rectangles. And I just got them. And I can't tell you guys how much I love these. This is perfect for just make a statement in a card, but still very soft of a statement. I'm going to use uh, my Stampin' Seal Plus and add whatever I can. And we are going to center this. Seems to be that it's like, what do you think? Maybe not a quarter, maybe like half an inch. A little bit less than half an inch, more smaller. And I did fussy cut this one um, just to be able to put this in here. And I have this big one um, also that I, I think, I don't know if I want it all the way in the back like that. I think I want it there. Let me see. Or it's too big, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I just leave it there. I think I'm going to leave this. So this is what we're going to be putting in in here. So I think that I'm going to put this one a little higher and these on top, like so, using dimensionals. So let's see. I want it to say there. I have some extra greenery, if you want to call it, and I think I'm going to put it there. And this is partially why I wanted the green color. And then this one, I think I'm going to go like this, actually and no dimensionals. I like the little green on the purple. Thank you, Judy. I'm so glad you like it. Now I'm going to use glue and just like that, center it again as best as we can. Okay. The last thing I have is I'm using these pastel perils. Um, I love them and it has, I don't think they don't have colors, but this is more or less fresh freesia and this is gorgeous grape. So I'm going to use some of the gorgeous grape just to create some um, accent there in the, in the white. Oops. And we have a rebellious one and I'm just going to put this one um, up there. Okay, so I absolutely love that you can create cards in such a simple way, right? Just adding some of those uh, cutouts that you can make your own on the paper. So again, we open. It has this. We have a, a little blocking here to write and just extra. And there it goes. Okay. It's rebellious. What do you guys think? And of course, we just tie it. I always use much more ribbon than I need, but I'm okay with that. Um, for some reason, I'm not a super, like I don't use a lot of ribbon in the cards in general. For, I don't know why. Um, and I realized that this way I feel more comfortable when I have extra um, extra ribbon and then I can just cut accordingly right so you have your ribbon we all know <laughs> Judy hey wonderful here's your card Judy I hope you like it <laughs> that is very funny Judy that was hilarious okay so I'm just cutting these and like I said I'm okay with them being longer in in I'm not a wasteful person, but I'm okay with these having enough to do the bows because you guys know I struggle with it. Okay, the next one I made is using um, 
the man I forget I love it adventure weights I think is what it's called um sweet I really I, I we made this a couple of weeks ago I really like this paper and I really like the whole suite we are campers in this household and so this kind of speaks to my heart I am trying to oh it's enjoy the journey I'm so lost sometimes it's so funny um let me close this because I don't want it to get dry. Simple because I want um, I want it to be for a male. Remember, I was trying to do that last time and it just didn't work because I put so many things. And so I just kept it very, very simple. I am using some of the cutouts from He's the Man Suite. So just very simple. Um, but I think it's great. And I will add another square in here to write so beautiful I think it's simple I love this very again very simple um, card for a male and this is the back of the card so I just cut pieces of it and kind of make it match and finally this is the first one I did and you'll see why I'm telling you so super cute using the, some of the celebration that big packet um, I absolutely love this paper. Super, super useful for many things. Super happy. And this is the Taco Fiesta. Oof, I love this one. Um, so some coloring. I use some Wink of Stella, if you can tell. I love it. Uh, and we're going to open it. Very, very happy and colorful card. But here's where the mistake is. You see my little taco here? I needed to be oriented up, and I didn't do that. Um, I just created some fun in here. I can probably use another, another little square in here to write something. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's when I realized that if I glue it first before putting the actual decorations, then I will, um, it will be much better and actually this holy guacamole was in here but it was not oriented the right way and so i figured if i just rip it off and you know fix it with some stars from these stars belong to um give it a world <laughs> and put it in the back put it up here and it looks okay um but this is just a super fun 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 happy um birthday card too it's coming okay and I absolutely love this I don't know how you call them but when they use like long time no taco and this one has got a couple of them right like a spectacular a spectacular <laughs> I don't know how you would say that so your natural average friend I, I just love this one right so and you guys know I love coloring so these are our very very happy cards for today I sure hope you enjoy them Uh, oh <laughs> thank you i'm just glad you guys like it um it is it is cute i think that it has a lot of of it's very feminine that's what i'm going to say this card is very feminine this is just fun right this is a fun card uh and this is just a nice card so it's uneventful <laughs> that's not so true but um yeah i always like i try not to go overboard with the guys the guys cards and then i make them just so plain and simple so anyways but i'm pretty sure that any guys any guy will like it so it'll be fine <laughs> okay guys so this is our card i am glad you guys like it i'm sorry it took a little longer i am trying to get to talk less but i think i the more I got the more I know you guys, the more I talk. So, <laughs> it's not good. That's no good. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, that's a funny. That's a funny one. Pun. Thank you, Judy. Yes, that I love cards with that or or sentiments with that. They are so very funny. Um, I am glad you liked today card. I I really like these colors. Um, and just some fun other options. 
Um, let's see anything else. Guys, same as always. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Donna, Judy, and Susie, don't worry. Your packages are leaving tomorrow in the mail. So hopefully you'll get them by the weekend. Maybe not necessarily because, like I said, we're having another snowstorm tomorrow. So that always puts some delays to the um, to the mail. And um, I really, really appreciate you all for all your support. And we'll see you next week. Remember that from now on, I will include the measurements down below. So I will have them included here in a little bit. Um, ha, I agree completely, Judy and Susie. I completely agree with that. Um, so uh, about the ages, they're talking about the age. So that is funny. I'm 71. So, you know, <laughs> Uh, but but I think that definitely some of our newer generations are not paying attention to what's going on in the world. So we've older people have learned to pay attention. I completely agree. Oh hi Mitzi, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So guys, see you next Tuesday. And if I have time, I have not received my paper pumpkin kit for this month so it depends if I receive it or not I will try to make a variation um, you know a paper pumpkin kit alternative for you guys this weekend it's just like both my daughter two of my daughter's birthdays are in February once on the third and once on the 14th and so those two weekends were gone pretty much um, and so I think that it takes a little bit of time and so I, I was not able to make any um, any of those videos, but I am trying to resume those and keep them as consistent as possible. Thank you guys. I am so glad you liked the cards and uh, I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. If you like the video, don't forget to like it and to share it because that helps me a lot uh, here in YouTube. And uh, with that said, have a wonderful rest of your evening. I already said that, but do have a wonderful rest of your evening or your week if you're watching the replay. Bye. Actually, I'm coming back here. Hi. <laughs> it's just easier for me when I'm trying to close this.